Hello, and welcome to this pre-recorded event for delivering Pearson's new AS and A-level business specifications from 2015. Theme 2. To help you get the most out of this session, you may want to have the following documents handy, as we will refer to them during the session. A-level business specification. Getting started guide. Theme 2 planning activity. All of these documents can be downloaded from the business subject page. Let's start by reminding ourselves of the specification structure. Theme 1 looks at marketing and people, while Theme 2 focuses on business activities including finance and business operations. These themes have the same content in both the AS and A-level qualification. Theme 3 builds on the content in Theme 2, exploring business decisions and strategy. Theme 4 has a global focus and builds on Theme 1 content. There are two externally examined papers for the AS qualification. Theme 1 is assessed in Paper 1, and Theme 2 is assessed in Paper 2. In each paper, the final question, Section C, asks students to make connections across both themes. For example, turn to page 17 in the AS sample assessment. In this example, Question 3 asks students to evaluate how the finances of a business, a concept in Theme 2, is impacted by using a pricing strategy, a Theme 1 concept. The content for Theme 1 and Theme 2 is the same for the AS and A-level qualifications. This means that even though the AS and A-level qualifications are separate, you can co-teach them. There are three externally examined papers for the A-level qualification. Theme 1 and Theme 4 are assessed in Paper 1. Theme 2 and Theme 3 are assessed in Paper 2. And Paper 3 assesses content from across the entire course, bringing all the concepts together. Paper 3 has a pre-released context, which will be made available to centres in November six months before the exam, to enable you to use this context in the classroom. Linear courses with all exams taken at the end may require different teaching approaches. Before we look at Theme 2 in detail, these slides introduce some things you might like to think about, or things you might do already. Our specification places emphasis on real businesses and real business contexts. For example, real businesses are used in all the assessments. From the start of the course, you can introduce businesses which students know and are engaged by. Theme 2 content can be brought to life by using real cases and data. And there will be very topical examples to bring into sections such as external influences. The structure of our specification supports skills progression throughout the course. This thematic structure also provides opportunities for students to revise concepts and build skills on an ongoing basis. In addition, we have integrated quantitative skills throughout the themes, so students can develop these in real business contexts as they move through the course. In addition to the business maths of ratios, you could provide students with a range of data sources as they progress. In Theme 2, 
Quantitative opportunities include cash flow forecasting, sales forecasting, break-even analysis, budgeting, profit, liquidity, and capacity utilization. There will also be lots of opportunities to introduce students to real business and economic data, such as inflation and exchange rates. Our Getting Started Guide provides details about the transferable skills which can be developed through business and offers suggestions of how to incorporate these in the teaching and learning. We've included skills for university progression throughout the course. As part of this, our papers have a range of extended writing questions, ranging from 10 to 20 marks in the A-level, and there will be plenty of opportunities for students to practice their extended writing. Remember that as A-levels are now linear qualifications, all assessments are taken at the end of the course so students develop extended writing throughout the course of study. Our research showed that universities were keen for A-level students to develop extended writing skills, demonstrating their ability to build and sustain business arguments. The skills students will learn in AS and A-level are the same. For example, the requirements within Assess and evaluate questions are consistent. This means that skills, including extended writing, can be developed in theme two. Our thematic structure enables students to develop knowledge and understanding as they progress through the course. This means that they are encouraged to reinforce concepts they have studied at the beginning of the course later on. For example, students are introduced to finance in Theme 2 and explore ratio analysis and investment appraisal as part of business decision-making in Theme 3. This supports continuous progression throughout the whole A-level course of study. We're now going to summarize the highlights in Theme 2. You might want to refer to the specification or have your hard copy to hand as we go through this section. You can also refer to the Getting Started Guide, which includes teaching and learning ideas for each topic. Theme 2 explores the finance and operations functions and investigates external influences on business. Students must cover a range of different types and sizes of business in various sectors and environments and consider local, national and global contexts. This topic explores how businesses can raise finance. Students are expected to understand the distinction between internal and external sources of finance and be able to ascertain which sources of finance are suitable for different situations and different types of business organizations. For example, a sole trader would not be able to access share capital because of the legal status of the organization. Equally, a startup business would not be able to sell assets or use retained profit, since the business has only just come into existence. Students should be able to assess which source or sources of finance are most applicable to any given situation and explain the reasons behind their selection. More often than not, there will be a range or blend of sources of finance that the student could choose. For example, purchasing raw materials could be financed by trade credit or an overdraft, but is unlikely to be funded via a bank loan. Students should be able to articulate advantages and disadvantages of various methods and sources of finance. There are opportunities in this topic 
to use modern examples of external finance, which are not related to banks. There are quantitative skills, sales, costs and revenue, break-even and budgets in this topic. This topic is also linked to the previous one in that financial planning is one method that helps to reduce the risk of business failure. In turn, this helps to increase the range of methods and sources of finance that the business can gain access to and helps to minimize the disadvantages of accessing those sources of finance. For example, lower interest rates on a bank loan. Students will need to know the formula for break-even. There are more quantitative skills in this topic. This topic considers the different ways in which profit can be measured and the distinction between cash and profit. Students should be familiar with statements of comprehensive income and statements of financial position. There are links in this topic to theme 3. 3.5.1, Interpretation of Financial Statements, and 3.5.2, Ratio Analysis. Students will need to know the key liquidity and profitability ratios. Appendix 4, on page 53 of the A-level specification, details the accounting ratios students will need to know. This topic looks at the management of resources within a business. It focuses on methods of allowing the business to operate at maximum efficiency in order to minimize the average total cost of production. It also considers different stock control techniques with a viewpoint towards maximizing the use of the business's resources. Quality is also considered since this should not fall as a consequence of improved efficiency. Students will need to know the formula for capacity utilization. Finally, this topic explores the impact of external influences on business. This topic requires students to consider the impacts of the economy and legislation on a business. Students are not required to have an in-depth understanding of legislation, but should focus on the effect new laws may have on the business. Students do not need to know the causes of inflation and interest rate changes, but need to know what effect these have on businesses. There are also opportunities to use data here to develop quantitative skills. For example, interpreting indices, inflation and exchange rate changes and understanding what these mean for businesses. This slide provides an overview of one way you might approach planning for these new topics. Have a look at the planning activity document for Theme 2. The purpose of this resource is to demonstrate an approach to building a bank of knowledge and background information for different topics, so is not indicative of the specification coverage. The approach taken in this resource is to identify what do students need to know. You can use resources such as the Getting Started Guide to help with this. What examples can you use to illustrate this? to support students with application. You can refer to resources such as our scheme of work to help. What causes and consequences and linkages can you think of? What evaluative points can be made? How can this content be revisited later in the specification? Where are the links? How will you revise this when teaching themes 3 and 4? If you think this approach will work for you and your department, why not adapt this for each topic so you can build a bank of resources?
I've mentioned some of the support available to help you deliver Theme 1, so I'd now like to spend a bit of time reminding you of the support we're providing. Our Getting Started Guide provides an overview of the new AS and A-level specifications to help you get to grips with the changes to content and assessment and to help you understand what these changes mean for you and your students. The guide includes suggested teaching and learning approaches for each theme in the specifications. Editable course planners can be adapted to fit your timetabling and staffing arrangements. There is a thematic course planner, which broadly follows the order in which content is set out in the specification and is designed to support those planning to co-teach AS and A-level. The integrated course planner is a suggested approach for those intending not to co-teach the AS level qualification. Whether you're thinking of staying with or switching to Pearson Edexcel for the 2015 AS and A-Level business specifications, specification mapping documents are easy reference guides to help you identify key comparisons and differences between the 2008 and 2015 specifications. Suggested activities and teaching points are included in an editable scheme of work to support you in planning to teach the new course. Our options evening materials will help you discuss the new AS and A-level business specifications with students and parents and explore the different pathways and careers our qualification can provide. Exemplar student work and examiner commentaries will support you in understanding the standard. The student work has been generated by A-level leavers, trialling the new assessments. We are also working on specimen papers, so you will have a set of A-level papers to use as mocks when you start teaching in September. Make the most of our free Results Plus service for tracking your students' progress. Results Plus is a free online results analysis tool for teachers, which gives you a detailed breakdown of your students' performance in Edexcel exams. Widely used by teachers across the country, Results Plus provides the most detailed analysis available of your students' performance and helps you to identify topics and skills where your students could benefit from further learning, helping them gain a deeper understanding of their subject. We are also launching our Exam Wizard service for A-level business. Exam Wizard is a free online resource for teachers, containing a huge bank of past paper questions and support materials to help you create your own mock exams and tests. Our national training program of events will continue to provide you with training solutions when you start teaching the new specifications in 2015. Watch out for support with themes 3 and 4, as well as training for mocks marking in 2016. And of course, our subject advisor for business, Colin Leith, is always here to help. Colin's contact details will be displayed at the end of this session. This is the main AS and A-level business subject page. All of the free support materials are available to download from the business pages of our website. To find this page, go to Qualifications a-Levels, Business. Choose the Specification tab to download copies of the specification and sample assessment materials, summary information about the reforms and introduction to the course. Scroll down to find contact information for Colin, links to our subject community and subject pages. The Course Materials tab is the place to access all the documents. The Teaching Support tab gives you a clear overview of all the support we have available. 
The Training and Events tab provides a quick link to the training events we have on offer. We're also working with publishers on endorsed resources. However, it is not necessary to purchase endorsed resources to deliver our new qualification. Here is a summary of the publishers we're working with. If you would like to find out more about these resources, please visit the publishers' websites. We're almost at the end of the session now, but there are a couple more things I'd like to tell you about before you go. We're recruiting examiners for our new specifications. If you would like to know more, please visit our website. Please get in touch with Colin and his team if you need any further help or support. Colin and our online business community will ensure you receive help and guidance from us as well as sharing ideas and information with each other. You can sign up to receive e-newsletters from Colin to keep up to date with qualification updates and product and service news. Thank you for listening to our event today.